We'll guide you through the best OBS recording settings. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. These are the settings that I use to go and get the best recording. So first of all, come into OBS Studio and you can come to Scenes and press the plus in the bottom left to create a new one. Now come over to the right and you can press Settings in Controls and it will open up. Come over to the left and select Output. What we can do is just go and use Simple. We can access everything we need to with this. Come down to Recording. Of course, for the path, go and choose where you want your videos to be saved. Now, for the recording quality, I find this option to be the best. High quality, medium file size, as it does go and capture good quality, but it means your files aren't too big. For the format, MP4 seems to be the most compatible. For the video encoder, ideally, if you've got a graphics card which supports it, you can use NVENC, but otherwise you can use software X264, but I'm using NVENC H264, so we can select that there. For the audio encoder, just leave that at AAC, then press apply in the bottom right. Come to the left and you can select audio. For desktop audio, you can go and select default or be more precise and choose your output. For the mic, go and choose your mic and select it and you can press apply in the bottom right. Now, when it comes to video, I like to go and have the base camera's resolution set as high as possible. I've got a 2560 monitor, but most commonly you probably have a 19 by 20 one. And for the output SCUD resolution, set that to be the same, as then you have no downscale filter. And what we can do is for FPS is set it to 60. I found that 60 FPS gives you the most smooth recording experience. Then we can come over to the left and go and press hotkeys. These are up to you, but I like to have a start and stop recording key. And what we can then do is go and click on advanced over to the left. For the renderer, I just use Direct3D11. And for the color format, I use NV12. Then press apply in the bottom right, and that's it. You can then come into sources, click the plus. In this case, I'll select display capture and press OK. And then you can go and choose the display you want to capture. Press OK, and that's it. We can start recording.